This is all I ever wanted was just somebody to have faith in me. The Broncos go with a big, strong player out of Fresno State. I was just in tears, man. All the things that I've been through, you know, coming from a small island of Tonga to the to America was surreal, man. Me and my husband were the first one from, from our families to move here. It was really a hard transition for all of us. It's a whole different lifestyle from Tonga to America. Throughout my whole life, it, when I moved, it was just learning like the English language, just going to school, like not knowing anybody, the change of foods that we have to eat, uh, just everything pretty much. There were bigger buildings, <laughs> bigger roads. It's pretty much just like the culture change for me. It was hard to adapt to the school. You know, my kids made fun of me because I couldn't really speak English. And school was just pretty much hard for me. Uh, I literally didn't understand anything any teacher was talking about. <laughs> they had this guy that followed me to every classroom, just sat with me on the corner of the classroom to have me try to explain stuff to me that the teacher was saying. And I just couldn't get it. It came to a point that we thought he wasn't really ready. I told my mom I didn't like it here and just decided to go back. I feel like that was the most difficult time of my life. Uh, just being able to go through that, you know, being able to push myself to, you know, be better pretty much. And I mean, it was a, uh, it made me, it made me shy. It made me like not want to talk to anybody. You know, I was just kind of by myself. I mean, it was just hard to find friends for me pretty much. <laughs> we taught him and we told him, you know, you, you just give it some time, go back and, uh, learn a little bit more try and appreciate a little bit whatever and so you can so you can come here and see the difference between tonga and and you know the the better opportunity here so ended up missing my family again and came back knew what i was expecting pretty much and you know just adapted from there i didn't really know much about football at the time throughout the marching band i would watch them play and stuff like that and and it just kind of like made me more interested into the game. Uh, pretty much joined the next year, and that was the first time I ever played. Uh, I didn't know anything at all. Like, I didn't know positions and stuff like that. None of the rules, nothing at all. I just went out there and just pretty much do what I was told, basically. <laughs> Beginning my junior year, uh, that's when I decided. I mean, I sat down with my family. I mean, uh, I wrote that letter that uh, kind of blew up. Uh, that I wanted to play in the NFL. And that's when I dedicated my whole life pretty much to just, you know, go out there and play football. And that's when I just went from 185 to 285. After that, I finally got a scholarship and things went from there. <laughs> a big, strong player out of Fresno State. Now, when I say strong, 44 reps at 225 at the Combine, fourth most in Combine history. This is the very, very first time we've ever been watching a draft ever. I wasn't really paying attention at all to everything. All I needed was to see Netanyahu's name. Anywhere, everywhere, <laughs> any team, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter to me, but uh, but then I saw the Broncos. I saw the Broncos on the, on the sixth round. Man, I felt electricity going through my body at the time. I felt so, you know, something bubbling up in my in my stomach and I said, and I I got up and ran to my husband. I said, that's it, my husband, what is it? I said, remember I told you there's a team in my heart. There's a team in my heart. Remember I told you and I never told you what it was. But this time, you know, they haven't got Netanyahu's name up yet. And and I said, and then he's, he stood there. And you know, I was like, <laughs> I was everywhere. <laughs> I was running here, running there. And I said, that's it, that's it. And then his name came. I jumped out so high. <laughs> I jumped out so high. Oh my goodness. I was so happy. I fell down and I cried and cried and cried. We were hugging one another. And my phone was ringing from everywhere. Friends and families everywhere for 11 years four months and 19 uh, 
days uh, of being here, God has brought everything to pass. And, and it's just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I'm just excited for what's next. Thank you.